so extremely close. Yep. Oh my god, he's STIing from now. What 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 move? <laughs> oh no, oh my god. <laughs> you love to see it, the warm-up. He literally had yes, I remember that. I remember that with the uppie. But yeah, here we are getting into it. Um, both of these characters thriving off of these kind of like closer interactions too, you know, and just kind of blowing each other up in yeah. disadvantage. Um, Very fast pace. Yes. Though it can be pretty patient, you know, there's, there can be a lot of footsies going on too, you know. It, it doesn't oh, feel fast paced when they get in, but um, the in-betweens, um, there's just, yeah, exactly. It's, 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 it's a, a bit perfect, of like... It's a perfect blend, I would say, of like... Patient and fast pace, but it never feels like it's a slow match either. It doesn't, no, because it, like once those interactions happen, like like it just ramps up to like you know like 80 miles per hour just exactly. instantly. Um, yeah, both these players with phenomenal advantage states, but both also both these players with really with really good footsies, you know. Okay, yep. Got the dash attack there. Yup, just um, playing off the ledge and everything. Uh, no, that's not my phone. That's mine. Oh, that that's mine. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, um, oh, we're back in the you. same situation, kind of reverse, where, where Loaf is at the ledge. Using the bike as a, as a mix-up off the ledge, that was interesting. Ooh, that bike toss can be kind of intimidating sometimes, you know? And you also don't want to accidentally pick it up, too, as, oh, as yeah. the opponent. Ooh, that caught the full hop off of the oh, PS2 platform. Okay. Didn't have to worry about waft in that situation, uh, unless you opted for a half waft, but full waft is not on deck yet. I believe it's about 10 more seconds. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That neutral B can be very hard to time, very contrary to like something like Roy or Krom. That There's was, a lot of end lag. That was kind of weird, that uh, F tilt there. Yes. I mean, it, it worked out, though. Um, ooh, worked, the, the yeah. fair got extended, too, by the bike. But yeah, we, we got to see, you know, Paul just take the stock, uh, or Cookie Tick take the stock off of these, like, um, corner interactions. But Loaf just weaving his way past him. Yeah, that bike's doing him a lot of favors. This is so time. scary here. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, it yeah. was not able to send him the, the way that Loaf probably wanted, um, but still got a ton of percent. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And if he takes these, if he wants to take these stocks slow, and he can, you know, he can just go for another full off too. You know, he's got two stocks to play with. Exactly. All right, and this is the corner. This is where Paul... Uh, yep. It's, it's scary. Definitely very hard for I to recover here. Oh! The double up being nice. It's great. That was like a that was, that was a great reversal in the corner. No, that shouldn't be. Is that dead? Wow, that's dead. Okay. Sometimes it's just like you know instinctual to hold out on the down tilt yeah. too, because you're like I don't want this dash track to connect, but it just, yeah, it just if it, it hits you, anyways. yeah, it does anyways. Dead. Yep. And I don't believe down tilt sends you into tumble at least at that percent too, so it's not even worth dying. But like sometimes it's kind of like, well, will it? Maybe it'll send me into tumble. Who knows? Uh, yeah, it's definitely going strong right now. Uh, some amazing matches. Uh, and I'm sure we could have guessed, but same characters. Mm -hmm. You know, both of these sticking to their, sticking to their guts. Um, I know Loaf has been working on a Pac-Man, bringing it out for, I think, only Grand Finals. I've seen him take him out, but, like, it's been putting in work, too. Oh, for sure. Oh, that Epto connected? That was, that was very surprising. Yeah, you, you can see... See the patience and also, yeah, like, like we were saying. Right, and there's kind of, like, yeah, there's like conditioning at a distance too, right? So Paul or, or Cookie Tick kind of showing off these nares, um, but then when these close quarter combat interactions happen, it's it's not a nair that he lands, might be another move like a down tilt or something. Yeah, Cookie Tick's very good at mixing up. His, yep. Everything. Oh, oh that was such a that's unfortunate. But that uh, that upbeat from from Loaf was great because you know sometimes you might expect uh, uh, Wario to kind of stall a bit more off stage, go for a bike yeah. or something. So that was phenomenal. Oh, got the footstool. Uh, Cookie Tick taking it, but um, Loaf just knowing. All right, I can still go up for a follow up even on Techs. Might be a bit more tricky with uh, Tech rolls and whatnot, but um, Tech in place, like you're good. There we go. One or two two right now, but Loaf with definitely a bit of a lead. Loaf's playing very well right now. With the pace of this match, too, we can definitely guarantee that Waft is going to be coming out um, for one of these stocks. Yeah, he's already got, already got his second stock to very high percent on Paul right now. Yup. That, that, that can be so scary there uh, in the corner. Once again, Uppy kind of saving him in the corner. Ooh, calling out the spot dodge with the jab. Excellent. 
Yeah, I feel like Cookie Tick has to be very quick about this stock, otherwise, you know, if, if Loaf is two stocks ahead, that last stock could be ended just very quickly with a Waff. Yep, exactly. And, and you know, Loaf has shown he definitely knows the Waff setups. Uh, even got for a pretty good one last time with the down throw bike uh, into Waff. Ooh, okay, and here we have a situation where Paul, or Cookie Tick has the lead. Um, we'll see what, what Loaf can do uh, to come back. Um, I think I think we're seeing Loaf going more for like the jump reads, so calling calling him out with like full hop or short hop backers too. Yep. You know, Ike loves to jump, but mix up the timing. Ooh. Ooh, he used the loft for recovery. That was a very that was an interesting recovery. I guess because Bike was on stage, he was able to use it. Right. But still, though, it was a good mix up. Yeah, and and Loaf, he he can definitely do completely fine even without wafts. It 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 helps, but you know, in that situation, yeah. like he basically guaranteed that he wouldn't die to an edge guard. Oh, so much momentum, so much momentum right now. A living very high right that now. That dash grab whiffing. Oh, he wants the upper, just kind of looking for some kind of option. And the F tilt is dash back. 163%. Yep. That that was that was so that was so crazy. Um you know, like I felt like in that situation, the prior interactions that led up to it kind of gave it a bit more depth. So like I felt like when Paul was ledge trapping uh, earlier, or just holding that corner, he would kind of hold his ground yeah. um, and try to attack. And then, you know, Loaf might get past him, whether aggressively or not. Um, but when he did, like, Paul would either get hit or um, or would just be stuck where Loaf has center stage. But in that situation, Loaf or um, Cookie Tech actually, like, dash backed um, into the F tilt, which is an yeah. option that you didn't really see as much earlier, I, I, as far as I can remember. He was also just playing a lot more patiently in general compared to last game, waiting for Loaf to, uh, you know, capitalizing really well on Loaf's small mistakes right now. For sure. Ooh, that was, I love seeing Turner on grabs out of shield, man. They, 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 they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cookie Tick definitely seems like he has the momentum right now. Yep. And that, that momentum is so key. I Both these players, I feel like, are very, very momentum-based. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, I feel like, you, you know, Loaf really uh, struggles trying to challenge Ike Uppy, but can you really blame him? You know, it's, it's kind of yeah, exactly. difficult to deal with. I'm sure if he had bike next to him, he might be able to toss it, but, like, you know, it's kind of a commitment. You boom, you walk all the way to center stage, pick up that bike, yeah. then toss it. You might not have enough time. Yeah, I feel like with both of them, too, it's like they really are noticing the small little details about each other and how they play. For sure. And, you know, it just makes it so close every time. Exactly. Exactly. You can see the adaption throughout all these uh, all these games and whatnot. Ooh, that was an excellent up tilt. Uh, but uh, ending up in a trade, which is not very favorable for Lowe. Yeah, Cookie Tick just holding his ground in the corner. You know, wasn't getting too greedy for center stage. He just recognized that Loaf was going to try and come in to capitalize yeah. off his position, but he just held his ground, fared. Yep. Ooh, nice there. You know, that, like, lower uppy kind of showed why Cookie Tick usually opted for, like, the higher uppies that would cover, like, full hop height because, like, Loaf had to jump way higher if he wanted to catch exactly. Cookie Tick's, like, higher uppies uh, near the ledge. And if, if Loaf doesn't time it quite right, it'll just get hit by the uppies. Ooh, that's a great get attack. Yeah, yeah. That, um... Wow. I just... Going back to that get up attack from earlier, that was great because, like, if he knew that Loaf was going to pick up the bike, like, there's no jumping. You can't jump to avoid the get attack. There's no shielding. You got to toss and then shield and that. That's that's a bit of a animation, you know? Okay, got the walk. Whoa, got the upwards hitbox, too. Landing that up air can be pretty tricky and comboing it, too, but uh, uh, or, or, uh, Ike being a pretty t tall character... Um, can make it a bit more manageable. Not easy, but ma more manageable. Oh, using the bike, smart. Yup, yup. Just the, you, using using the bike against your opponent. Um, you really got to have some awareness in the matchup to feel confident doing that. Oh my oh, God! Okay. If if up B was a move that sent up, like that was death. But like you know, obviously, corkscrew sending sideways. <laughs> just, I'm pretty sure that's what the move is called. I just say up to me personally. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun move, man. He's it just like spinning. Move. He's so happy. <laughs> Mario, Mario's just always having a good time. Yep. You know? Ooh. I, I think there was like a read on the dash pack, F tilt, and just like, you know, coming in, approaching, which is what Paul wanted, uh, but just shielding. I kind of wonder if it feels like Loaf is maybe approaching a little too much. For a couple times. Oh, okay. Ooh, that back there, though, yes. Take it. I, I don't know if I fully agree with the use of. Um, I forgot what his neutral be, the fancy 
term for it is, but whatever. His neutral be, um, his neutral be by the ledge. It just it feels so committal. It's definitely yeah. very scary because it it is very strong and it hits underneath the ledge well enough, you know. Right. Um, but there's just so much end lag that if you just whiff it on a two frame or anything like that, it, it it's just it's 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 uh it's just it feels too committal. There were, there were also a couple times too where I think like Loaf kept going in multiple times the same way and Paul called it out mm -hmm. every single time. We also saw some approach mix up so I feel like I saw more like 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 I there was one approach option where where um Loaf did like a like a short hop in and then shielding, uh reading that um Cookie Tick would probably pick some kind of aggressive option to uh to get Loaf to back off. Oh yeah. All right. Playing on the platform is so scary for both these characters. Just w just when the other is underneath like that. Yeah, spacing these aerials super well. Yes, definitely don't want to like some kind of reverse situation where they get to like you know short hop aerial out of the corner or roll. Wolf is getting that big combo though, that big damage. Yes, though to be fair, it's it's fairly e uh well. Yeah, definitely leaning a bit more towards Loaf, uh, especially in positioning wise in that last situation. Fair being an unsafe move, you know, this Loaf pushing in and, and shielding it, just get, getting a good punish off of it then. Yeah, Loaf's calling out a lot of these with the aerials pretty well. Yep. This is pretty scary for, for Cookie Tech, you know, it's uh he still's got he still has to win two more games if he wants to take the set if he wants to take the set. Yep. Just kind of faking out, you know, going for the ledge, like punishing the ledge hang, but, you know, Loaf recognizing that, neutral get up thing, and able to reverse the situation. But back off stage. Here's the ledge trap. What's going to happen? Yep, that's tough. You know, in that situation, like, you might just be, like, you know, going for a grab too, but, like, it's. Wow, I'm surprised that chomp, or that, yeah, that worked. Um, but, like, you know, a grab wouldn't do much at this percent, you know, so. I'm sure. Oh, the wall. Yep. Cookie Tick definitely wants some kind of F tilt or, or up air to, to seal out the stock. There we go. There we go. That's there we go. I'm seeing so many F tilts in this set, really. Um, it's it's catching a lot of short hop approaches and, and even just run ins. Um, but I feel like Loaf has been playing better around them as, as it's been going on. I think recognizing that's like, that feels like Cookie Tick's win condition, you know, to take stocks, especially. Oh my god, damage. Yeah, I think Loaf is calling out, like, uh, Cookie Fix jumps very well right now. Yes, really, really well. And, you know, Ike has to jump. It's just you got to mix up that timing, but it, it can be really difficult because um, oh, sure. it's, it's, it's the same mentality from the opponent's perspective, too. All right, was not able to land on the platform the true combo off of that Nair, but um, still put him into a scary situation. This corner can be big. I, I believe Loaf has a half off right now, too. Right? Cookie Tick uh, makes up his tech option, I believe, compared to the last situation. I think Loaf was fully expecting that. Yeah. Right? Here's the situation. It just. Going for the high up B, maybe to catch, you know, Paul or, or Cookie Tick going near ledge, but. Paul opting there to go for center stage. Ooh, that was excellent. Oh, that, was a right there. that was nice. That was great. You know. Ike doesn't feel like one of those characters that can like neutral get up into some very fast move immediately. Um, so like, when he does like some kind of like tech roll, like you don't really have to be as afraid of an aggressive option. Um, when he if he like miss like he miss time the guess. Excellent F tilt. Definitely very doable still. F but it's going to be really tough. It's going to be really tough soon, especially because full off is, is pretty close, I'm, I'm fairly sure. There it is. There it is. There Speak it of is, the devil. Yeah. Wait, was it? Was that it? Oh, no. Sorry. I thought I saw him, like, flashing. Oh, no. I, I swear I saw that, too. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I, I, okay, there it is. But not meaning much. The back catching the full anyways. hop. Yeah, when you're in the corner, even as Ike, too, like, it's just it's so scary. Um, at these higher percents, too, you don't want to go for something risky, like some kind of aerial out of the corner. It's just it's very scary. And, yep. um, God, my glasses are so fogged right now. Um, 